After audio and video are in your presentation, you have a number of ways to change how they appear and how they play. To format any inserted media, just click the video frame or audio icon. Notice that when I click the video frame, the contextual format movie tab appears on the ribbon. From this tab, you can preview the selected video or set when you want it to begin playing during your presentation, either when you click it or automatically. I'll set this one to start automatically. You also have several playback options, such as play full screen, which I'll select for this video. Let's also set a poster frame, which is the image that displays when the video is not playing. I'll choose the current frame. Similar to pictures, you can also apply different colors and styles. Let's use this style to give the video a border and a drop shadow. A couple of other things about videos in PowerPoint. You can position and resize the video however you want on the slide. And the video frame includes play, forward, rewind, and volume controls. For other options, right-click the video. From here, you have more formatting options and a shortcut to animate the video frame. For example, make it fly in from the left of the screen. We're not going to cover these advanced options in this tutorial, but feel free to explore them on your own. Formatting audio works the same way. Select the speaker icon, and on the Format Audio tab, choose the options you want. By default, inserted audio plays only on the slides where you insert it. For this audio, I want it to play on every slide after it starts. So let's choose the Play Across Slides option. And because the duration of the audio is shorter than the presentation, I'll also have it loop until the presentation stops. Let's also hide the audio icon during the show so it doesn't distract the audience. As with video, inserted audio also includes playback controls directly on the speaker icon. Finally, keep in mind that you cannot edit the original audio or video using PowerPoint. For editing tasks, such as trimming video or adding audio crossfades, you'll need to use other applications, such as iMovie or GarageBand, before inserting it into your presentation. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson and see how the audio and video appear when we play the slideshow.